friends. Hello, hello, my friends out there. I'm with Julio one day before my trip from northeast to southeast. Now, I'm doing a roundabout uh, a check of my properties, especially this property, who Julio is taking care of for me because I'm doing renovations here. So I'm making sure that all my properties in Pennsylvania are good top in, right? That I've addressed what I need to address before I leave for Florida, my travel to Florida. So I'm here with Julio. We're looking at plans. We're looking at the work he's done for me over the last several weeks so I could leave um, Pennsylvania with a peaceful mind and I can focus on my trip to Oasis at Bells Point in Florida. So stay tuned for my landlord trip. Now Julio here will share tips on what to do if you're planning to do your own renovation, which is doing some drywall and spackling. So Julio, you were talking about how we have levels when we're doing drywall. So share to our viewers, our listeners, what if those DIY do-it-yourself homeowners who wants to do renovation, what are the some pointers that you can share with our listeners and our viewers? Okay, so one of the pointers is when you're doing a spot where you want to make sure that you tape every single joint and after you put your tape coat, then you go with the second coat and then you go with the third coat. But as you go going with the, put in the coats, you're making a wire and wire. So by the time you finish with the fourth coat, is the finished coat is going to be around maybe eight inches in each side or the center of the joint. So that will give you a nice level surface to get a finished product. Now how long does it take to dry, right, for the first coat, that's the level one, before you can proceed with the level two? You want to leave you want to give at least one day to the tape dry and then you can apply your second coat maybe. Like we'll say if I put the tape today, I can do the second coat tomorrow. Now why does it take for us when we do spackling eight inch wide when you can just... This looks good already, but why eight inch? Because if you if you don't give a little, you don't fill it out and make it wide. You will if you run your hand, you will feel that little bump or it's gonna be sink. So if you make it wide, so when you touch it, it's you barely can tell it was a joint in there. Oh, so that is why we have to make a wide. I'm spackling eight inch wide so that you don't feel the dip the the. The, the, you see this here, this middle part, which is a union between one drywall to another, is that correct? Correct. If you I run see. your hand right now, you will, feel, you will feel what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I feel the, the tape. I feel the tape, will you? Okay, so I, we will show you when, the, when we finish spackling in this room, so see what you guys think. Awesome! Okay guys, this is my pre-day travel to Florida. So stay tuned for more of The Real Landlord. All right, take care, God bless, and stay tuned for tomorrow's trip. Bye.